A Canadian artist is getting ready for an exhibit in this country after showing his work in the U.S. and overseas. His paintings attract widespread attention because he uses a technique you'll find only in Canada. The CBC's Deanna Sumanak takes you to Toronto to meet an artist who's packing more than a paintbrush. Artist Victor Mitic creates boldly colored pop art paintings of famous faces and of well-known artworks. But take a closer look at the silver stars that outline these images. They reveal a medium few artists would feel comfortable using, bullet holes. It just worked out well, because the, uh, the effect that I was getting on canvas was uh, not only the, the bullet points, the, uh, the, the black powder being embedded into the, uh, the surface of the uh, canvas. It was also something that would, that would make me a bit more, I guess, uh, think more about the, uh, yeah. the issues, yeah. Viktor Mitic wants people who see his art to feel the reality of the gun violence he says permeates our culture, even if seeing a canvas riddled with bullet holes makes them uncomfortable. That's really the point of his art, the coexistence of beauty and violence, bullets creating art instead of destroying life. Let's say the image of Jesus Christ, uh, the way it is symbolizes something very good, something pure, uh, you know, the beauty, the peace, the, you know, all, all these things, they are positive. And I created a, an image of him using bullet holes, uh, embedding the opposite in it immediately. Mitic lets us tag along as he prepares to complete the bullet hole painting of another icon of peace. John Lennon, a victim of gun violence. Mitic knows some people will misinterpret his art, even accuse him of glorifying gun culture. Uh, it doesn't really bug me. Uh, uh, as long as they, I get some kind of dialogue out of it and get, get him to think about it, then that's, that's cool with me. But as he gets ready for a major Toronto exhibit, there is one thing he wants people to know when they look at his work. I, I don't think the guns should exist. I don't think anybody should own a gun. It's made for one purpose only, it's made to kill, to destroy something. And in this artist's case, to create something that's surprisingly beautiful. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Toronto.